Okay. All right. Mac, Go ahead, Mac. Got got a, I've got a non-Super Bowl mic for you guys. Okay. Uh, I noticed because of the Boone stories a couple weeks ago, having played for Jim Harbaugh, we have a bunch of new Chargers fans that have discovered the O-line mm. committee. So welcome, welcome, Chargers fans. Welcome, welcome. Hello. The Chargers are my mic here because I think the same thing is going to happen that happened with the 2011 49ers. You guys, as Jay strokes the bolt on that gigantic chart. Can I? That's creepy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I was just getting me excited. You're getting me all, getting me all, I know. Getting me all me revved up. Get me all I'm revved excited. up. Harbaugh take we here. got. So here's what we got here for the new audience. We have former Charger Jeremiah Searles, and we have former Jim Harbaugh disciple with San Francisco, Alex Hello. Boone here, to tell you guys about what's going to happen. All I right. think the Chargers are going to double their win total. I think we're talking 11 or 12 wins. 10 or 11, huh? Because what they had that division. They had five this year? They had five this year. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. In so that division. If you remember, and Boone, you can, you can tell us. I mean, you were there. You guys won six games in 2010. I think it was uh, was it was it Tom, no Tom Sula was after it was was it Singletary no, it was, was Singletary into, I thought we were seven and nine because I thought both years he was seven and nine but maybe you you're guys, right six and you 10. were six and ten that last year <laughs> he's looked it overnight up. <laughs> dude overnight thirteen wins and an NFC Championship game the very next year with Alex listen, Smith no listen, disrespect listen, but like listen I know I know what you're thinking Mackie you don't understand how much work went into that year to flip that shit around and that team was stacked i mean scott mcclellan was one of the best gms if you go back and look at that roster dude it was incredible the problem was we just didn't really have anybody on offense that was like a ballsy dude to go out there and be like hey listen we're kind of doing this ass backwards we need to set the tempo and then get rolling and we had Frank Gore. And you talk about some of the guys that they were able to bring in in like year one. They got Vernon back straight, acting right, going crazy. Like everything was – they had Delaney Walker. They had Carlos Rogers on defense. They had Patrick Willis, Justin Smith, Manny Lawson. Like, dude, they were fucking stacked. But that's that's been the argument. That's been the argument that no one could understand why Staley couldn't win. Like, dude, we sat here what on you, this show. We sat here on this show at the beginning of the year and talked about how the Chargers roster is loaded and how they were set to make a run at Mahomes this year. Right? Talk about on offense. You've got Justin Herbert, one of the best young quarterbacks in the league. Agreed. You've got Mike Williams, Keenan Allen. Right? You start talking about Austin Eckler was still very much in a prime role when that showed up there. You go on defense, Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Dendra James. Like, they've got dudes like they got dudes and they have players which is like no one could figure out like why can't they win why can't they figure it out like i agree with mackie on this take where i think the chargers are right there now granted the cap hit is totally going to change all of this because they're i think last i looked almost 50 million or 40 yeah. million yeah. over the cap five that's gonna do, sting it's yeah, gonna sting shuffling. a little bit some shuffling. but i do think that the harbaugh effect will be real and that he's gonna land a couple mega free agents right i think Top Saquon five Barkley, pick. like top five pick. Saquon Barkley is going to be a guy that I bet you he's like, I want that guy with the style of offense that we run. I will side with Mackey on this one. I think okay, I listen. think ten. I think ten to eleven wins is very very real for next year. Okay, I totally agree with you when you say it like that. If you're going to bring Saquon Barkley in, because that's their problem. We won because we had a dominant run game, which made everything just easy to play off of. Like we just didn't even have. Once there was like twelve games in. We barely had to run the ball to scare people anymore. Like they just knew what we were going to try and do, but at the same time, they don't have a running back there. You don't right. have like oh, listen, dude. They're getting you're, one. You're, I get it. You you're you're also in a very tough division. You're not going to go fucking toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes. How do you beat Patrick Mahomes? You run the ball. You do play action. You drain the clock. You make him start to feel the pressure. You can't keep like that's my whole point. Brandon Staley, you're a fucking idiot. You went out there and you were like, we're just going to do this better than everybody. And then all of a sudden, you got your quarterback hurt, and everyone was like, well, now you don't have a run game. You haven't had one for two years. You don't have a quarterback. Now what are you going to do? Like that was just silly. I mean, you also have to remember though they took last place in the AFC West, right? So they've got the last place schedule. Like that's a huge that's a huge piece to this. If you you can, guys did the same thing, I'm pretty sure the, in 17. Yeah, yeah, but you have to go out and still play, Patrick. You're gonna go out yeah, and play 100%. the Oakland defense. Like you're gonna go out and play some really really tough but teams. You, you know, like that's division games are division games. Like oh you yeah, kinda, you kind of throw records out the window, but it's when you're crossing over into the other divisions and playing that last place team. 
that's where like no i agree that like i think i think because of the schedule change like yes you still have to play your division but i i can definitely see them coming away with 10 wins if they get Saquon, but how are you going to do that? I, with I also Cap think Helder they're going to draft. I think they're also going to draft a running back, like high, probably like second round. I think Jameer, they'll draft. Oh, I thought you were saying draft, like Jameer Gibbs high. No, I think they draft. There's no way they take one in the top ten. That'd be so stupid. There's really so many dude with the there's number so five pick. Talent. They could there's trade so back much from five. In this draft, dude. There's no chance. They could oh, trade so they back from to. five. Get another if there's a if you know if one of those three quarterbacks slips and somebody else wants dude, to. Dude, I'm up. starting. I'm starting to get in a mock draft season. Like just starting. Easy. Oh, easy. Dude, it's my life. Where, where have you? Dude, where have it's you my been life. The last two months, but you can't man. chase those. Those are rabbit holes, dude. You no. run down those things. Johnny takes me down them sometimes. He'll be like, Dad, I'm like, you know it's my life. But you got to remember, I get like I get real information. I know. I'm not like some idiot. Then don't say like, mock drafts. I, don't, I'm talking to stupid. real life people that are in organizations. Dude, oh, yeah. put your, and I'm you starting to like. Your get, would you I'm do an, would you do an feeling. O-line committee 1.0 for us at some point? The, we only a, the first get, round. Only the first yeah. round. I'm not. Because yeah, after I, that, no. you are crazy. If you can seven pick rounds, a fourth dude. round, you got to be. Dude, I watched. I read one last year of some guy that did a seven round mock. I was like, dude. Way too much work for absolutely no reward. Like this is like you're gonna. <laughs> no. But, if you, but if you if you nail that sixth round pick to the Giants correctly, right. then you're people. I'll do a mock. We should it. do an O line mock. We should do one as we get closer. I mean, as draft season comes upon us, like March, April after the I'm combine. Stay out of this one. You guys do your mocks. I'm no, I have. Hold on. on. I want to come back to this in a second, but I have one more Chargers thing. Okay. Your old offensive coordinator, Greg Roman. Yep, You're getting I the band it. back together. Doing it, what, dude. What, what does that mean? G Row plus. You. And but by the way, like just Justin Herbert is a guy that I know you said don't go toe to toe with Mahomes, but you know what? If I'm going to go toe to toe with Mahomes, Herbert's Justin guy. Herbert's one Herbert's of the guys guy. that I would. So is he going to throw less? Like, what is that offense going to be with with Greg Roman now, buddy? If it's the same thing that it was with us and with the Ravens, it runs through the run game. Every single run play that you see is attached to a pass play. Because the minute you see us run it, it could it could come like seven different ways now. Because it's all about what they saw last. And we know that the minute we start getting in the same formations, they'll start recognizing things. So then Giro would all of a sudden do the exact opposite. And we would shift in motion people to get them in the defenses that we wanted. And if we couldn't get the look we wanted, we would kill it or roll out of it. Like There were so many possibilities that you always were in the most decisive play. But everything was based on the run game. And that's why I say... I love Giro. Everybody knows I love fucking Giro. Everybody knows I love Harbaugh. I'm fucking my guys. But you have to have a run game in this. Like, you have to be very dominant because the minute people are like, fuck, we got to play base, Giro's like, let's pass the ball. He was literally like, I'm going to make this easy on you guys. If you see big fatties out there, let's throw the ball because those guys aren't good pass rushers. We'd be like, oh, yeah, that's fucking genius. He'd be like, in the minute the pass rushers come out, we're going to run punch. Boom. He, here, gonna... Here's what here's what I wonder. Okay, so he's been an offensive coordinator for ten seasons, going back to you guys in San Francisco. He was you know Buffalo, Baltimore, and it is pretty incredible the split between rushing and passing attempts with mm-hmm. these offenses. I mean, literally, here are the ranks for Greg Roman rushing attempts, like where the, where his teams have ranked: third, seventh, third, ninth, second, second, first, first. Third, seventh in rushing attempts. I told you, dude. In pass attempts, 31st, 31st, 32nd, 29th, 31st, 32nd, 32nd, 32nd. It's not going to be that. It's not going to be that. Fly. No. You can't pay no. your quarterback as much money as they're paying Justin Herbert to have that kind of an offense. It doesn't ex- work like that. It's going to be perfect, dude. It's going to be the most balanced thing because the minute you get them to fear your run game, you have Justin Herbert back here who's like, I can dice people apart if I have to, which makes it fun, but you have to let Justin throw the ball a lot because you're paying him a shit ton, and he's one of the best to do it. That's why I'm saying like, this whole thing could work, but you need a massive back in the backfield or you need a massive committee because that ball gets run. And a lot of the plays are super quick hitting. And that's why it was so fun. Like we ran wham, trap, crunch all the time just to get people. And sometimes Giro would do it just to fuck with people. Like he'd be like, listen, first play, we'll come fucking hammer that nose. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, yeah, let's get up. Dude, it was awesome, right? And, and by all- the way, I will say too, they've been top like in again ten years. They've been in terms of scoring output, fourth, fourth, third, first a couple of times. Two thousand twenty two Baltimore eight. So he's I mean, so it works in terms of scoring. Yeah. Well, I mean, smart. look at look at the teams in look at the teams in the Super Bowl, right? Kansas City and San Fran. How did they get there throughout the playoffs? Running the football. 
Yeah. Right? Like, you have the best, and your quarterback's got to make plays when he's got to make plays. But you, you know, the path to the Super Bowl has always and will always be on the ground. Always. Like even, even Tom Brady, when he's making his runs, they always had a run game. Right? I remember them beating the Kansas City Chiefs when it was freezing cold in the AFC Championship game by running the football with my guy Rex Burkhead, who just retired yesterday, last of the Mohicans here for the Huskers 2009 mm. class. <laughs> but, you know, just like they've always had that that feel to it. And so I agree with Harbaugh's going to bring that back. Does Harbaugh worry you guys at all mentally with his old, uh, his coming out there on Good Morning Football saying that J.J. McCarthy is going to be the first quarterback taken in the no. draft? I love no. it. Does that, does that, is that anyone? He doesn't, no. he doesn't really mean he that. Doesn't he doesn't mean pump, that, dude. He's pumping pump tired. He's pumping tired. He really tired. is. And he, dude, he also yeah. is, he, he might firmly believe that because he's just loyal. <laughs> like, he loves you and he's like, you're the best in my book. Like, that's, that's not a fault. You, that's dude, not a fault, though. No, because in your mind, you're blind instantly, loyalty. No, it's not blind. Like I said, you have to show him something. You have to do a lot for him. But the minute you do, in his mind, you are never not first. And you feel it. That's why it's easy to play for him because he's like, you're the best, babe. You know I love you. And you're like, I know. And like he'll come out and say it. Like he'll just tell everybody, like, this guy, I love this guy because he's the best. Comes out, he works his fucking ass off. He's going to be number one for sure, for sure. And like you can't, no matter what he you say to him, he's like, I'm unwavering on this. I'm sorry. I <laughs> Try somebody the else. Pundits like inscribed. Yeah, don't don't do this to me. He, dude, he's yeah. I believe it though. I love it. I think it's awesome. What if JJ is the first? Wouldn't that be Stop. something though? No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I will quit I'm the podcast kidding. world. Stop it. <laughs>